You look, teacher. Good evening. Oh. Hey, fui teacher que yo en la, en la pandemia aprendí a cortarme el pelo yo solo. ¿Sí? Ajá, hoy el peluquero, hey, ¿cuándo va a llegar? Pues, no, el papá le dije yo cuando te buscaba, vos decías que no se podía. Ah, ¿eh? oh, ya. Yeah. <risa> Oh, ya no voy a cortarme. ¿no? Cuando Yo quise, soy... no pudiste. Así es. Venga, sí, hombre. Cinco pesos cobra. Cinco pesos. Cinco. Todo ese pistillo me lo estoy ahorrando. ¿Y ending o what? Sí. No. Con una máquina de. Traje una máquina la vez pasada a Estados Unidos de 20 dólares. Ya la recontra desquité. No, yo tengo una para lavar. Ajá. Esa sí me la rebajo yo. Pero el pelo sí. No, yo aprendí a acabar con, con las medidas viendo videos en YouTube. <risa> oh, bueno. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. ¿Todo sirve? Hello. Sí, sí. Good evening. Con este barbershop. Yes. Pero nunca le he quitado el pelo, el pelo a nadie, a otra persona. Mira, eso es como poner corbata. Yo me puedo poner la corbata, pero así, en dos patadas. Uh -huh. La otra, me, me enredo todo. Ah, es al revés. Sí, es, mira, eso es, es, es de frente. Eh, ajá, eso es igual, teacher, que cuando usted va a un lugar y cuando viene de regreso ya no, como que no, el sentido de la ubicación lo pierde. ¿Ya se ha fijado eso? Sí. Ajá. Ajá, entonces a veces por eso uno tiene que hacer vistazos cuando es nueva ruta, hacer vistazos de regreso cuando, cuando va, para no perderse. Uh -huh. Cuando vayamos a las cabañas del Pericón. Al Pericón, no ha entrado todavía. <ríe> Alejo, no, no le he puesto el güey a... A ver cuántos kilómetros hay desde aquí. No está aquí el teléfono. Vamos a averiguar cuántos kilómetros hay desde aquí. Pero es que no, no veo el teléfono por ningún lado. Voy a traer. Vamos a ver, dice el pericón, le vamos a poner. Maps. Aquí está, 126 kilómetros. Lejos, lejos no está. Pero no, no está pensé que la... estaba más lejos. La ruta. No, no está lejos. Podemos hacerla en un día, ¿sí? Claro que sí. Sí, sí, claro que sí. 
Uh -huh, aquí está. Quiero ver por dónde me tiro la, la indicación. Son como, son como ocho horas, ¿verdad? Cuatro horas, ocho. como once, cuatro horas, once minutos, me da a mí. De verdad. ¿Sí? ¿A dónde está usted? En Merliot, Santa Tecla. Me, me, pero me tira por Usulután. Cuatro horas, once minutos, dice. Es que los compañeros, cuando yo trabajaba en Pusán, los compañeros que iban a Zamorazán se tardaban bastante tiempo en llegar por allá. De hecho, no trabajaban ese día que llegaban, sino que eh, trabajaban hasta el día siguiente. No les daba Amale. para... Ajá. A de veras, no, no manejan, no están acostumbrados a manejar entonces. A yo he manejado, yo he manejado ocho horas... Quiero ver cuánto. Ey, 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 está, que, está quemando a la compañera René. No, no, de veras, mucho tiempo. <ríe> Qué yo, no sé cuánto, yo no sé cuánto hacían, pero, pero ellos no trabajaban ese día porque llegaban súper tarde. Nosotros hemos Decía ido a Decía que Galán para que me mandaran a mi absoluta, a, a Morazán. Decía. No, nosotros una vez fuimos a almorzar. Y no a, la paneca. A, ¿Cómo se llama? A Río Dulce. Son cinco horas. Son 350 kilómetros. A las 9 de la mañana aquí, llegamos. Aquí en El Salvador, no a ningún lugar se tardó ocho horas. Sí, no, pero no. Ah, pues bueno, manejaban bien lento, porque antiguo, ellos sí se tardaban toda una vida para llegar. Antigua Guatemala son cuatro horas. En Pulma, ¿no hay? Sí, no por entiendo. eso. No, no, no entiendo yo. Le, le ah. Yo a, ahorita, ahorita vean algo aquí en Guatemala. Ah, ok. Que estoy en. Hey, teacher, en Antigua anda o no. No, en Mixco. Ah, anda, yo conozco por bien. ahí. Ay, ahí es, fíjese que ahí es bonito. Yo andaba buscando una casa por ahí. En, mm. en algo de los naranjos, algo así. Ah, sí, sí, sí. ¿En Mixco usted? Sí, en Mixco. Sí. Ajá, en la zona 12 está, ¿verdad? O, o la 10. Zona 8. 8, ok. San Cristóbal. Anda viendo la obra de, de Van Gogh. Ah, sí. Ah, va a llegar a El Salvador. Sí. Va a llegar a El Salvador, mejor allá. Sí, va a venir. Mm -hmm. Terrible de ese tipo. Él no había visto de todas sus obras. Murió pobre. <ríe> sí. <ríe> Mm, ah, no, me da 233 kilómetros, dice aquí. Espérenme por esta otra ruta. 4 horas 39 minutos. Uh -huh. Es más cerca por la Panamericana. Son 211 kilómetros. ¿Sabe por qué me decía 126 hace rato? En helicóptero. Uh -huh. con la caravana con la caravana del presidente pues sí ah no lo que pasa es que ahorita está dando un montón porque hay tráfico en en el redondel de la integración y lo pango está en rojo eh pero como nos vamos a ir de madrugada ¿no? para llegar y hacer todo bien ah. sí sí no, pues el chistetor, el chistetor mira ahí, no en el día. Ajá, ir sábado y regresar domingo. Mínimo, mínimo. Ahí está. Ahí estaba viendo yo las cabañas. Aquí están en el, en el Google Maps. Ah, ahí está. Ay, pero no se ha conectado la compañera. No. no ah, como no, ahí, ahí está ya Sandra Gómez. Sí, ya está. Ok, people, let's get it started. Manguera. Perkin Mosote. Pago, ya lo veo que se pago. Good evening. Hey. <risa> De mí estaban hablando, ¿verdad? <risa> estaban zumbando los oídos, Sandra. Es zumbaron los oídos. Un ratito. <risa> ¿Cómo están todos? Saludos a todos. Very good, very good. Happy to be here. Happy, happy. <risa> es viernes y el cuerpo. Yeah, it's Friday. <risa> A ver, a ver, 
cómo me funciona este Inter de aquí. <risa> funcionar, pues un... no, no le llega al mío, pero tiene que funcionar. Ok, let's get started. We uh, are going to, I'm going to take the first attendance of the evening. So please, cameras and respond. Alex Gerardo Peña. Present. Alex, Alex, where are you? Where are you? Present. Hey. Ana Celia Mena. Ana Celia. She's there. Hey, Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Okay, welcome. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Okay. Byron Jose Villanueva. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Good. Edgar Eduardo Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present teacher. Very good. Iván Alberto Castillo. No. Johnny Alexandre Escobar. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Okay. Eh, Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Okay, Miguel, the 10 minutes are for you tonight. Okay. Hey, teacher. Oscar René Molina. Present, teacher. Okay. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Este, voy a estar de oyente porque todavía estoy en un evento. Ahorita estoy, estoy en el MUNA. Oh. Casi salgo. Yo lo voy a estar de oyente. Hoy. Pues, pues. Sandra Yanira Gómez. Present, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Okay, very good. Thank God for technology. See, you are at work and you are in class. I am in Guatemala and we have class. Nice. Nice. Okay, well, last class we finished talking about should and shouldn't. Let's see, I have something here to practice that a little bit more. Let's see, works well here. Should and should. Ah, we played tic-tac-toe yesterday, right at the end of the class, or no? Yeah, yesterday was. If this one works. Uh, 
No, no tengo video. Un compañero anda al video. Mm, bueno, que no lo encuentro. Que... Probarlo a ver cómo está. No, no me ponga. Ok, we can use this one. Hey. Hey, no, 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 no. Okay, let's use this one. Let me share. You have to improvise here. Look, we have some questions here and you have to uh, make answers using should or shouldn't, yes? Let's let's take a look. Okay, let's study first. Let's study. Okay, look at this. Uh, let me get... What should you do if you have a toothache? What should you do if you have a toothache? Okay. Let's do something. Write in the chat one answer for this. Using should or using shouldn't. Okay? What should you do if you have a toothache? Write your answer in the chat, please. I'll give you time for that, not, not forever. Teacher, teacher, disculpe, no le entendí. No le entendí. I want you to write an answer to this question. The first question is this. What should you do if you have a toothache? You see the question? Write an answer in the chat. Let me show you an example. Okay, let's let's see the example. For example, you should see a dentist. Yes, I will put it. Yeah. Okay, ah. teacher. Está bien. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay. This is the, the, the exercise. Okay, you have to write a sentence responding to the question using should or shouldn't. Another answer could be, oh, you shouldn't eat too much candy, for example. You shouldn't eat too much candy. Yes, that's another suggestion. So you can write sentences using should or shouldn't. Okay, now is your turn, people. But I want you to write, write your answer in the chat. What should you do if you have a fever? Write your answer. Okay, let me see. Ah, oh, well, Jocelyn is writing for the first sentence. Now we are on this one. What should you do if you have a fever? Johnny says you should see a doctor. Andrea says you should go to the doctor. Marcella says, uh, mm, would and should at the same time is not necessary, Marcella. It's only you, you should. Yes, but I'm sorry. <laughs> You should put the compress. Okay. 
You should visit a doctor. You should see a doctor. Okay. Hi. You go to the doctor immediately with a fever. You don't go to the doctor immediately when you have a fever. You should swallow. Okay, you should take, it's better. You should take acetaminophen. Take an, you should, okay, write a complete sentence. You should take an acetaminophen. Okay. Okay, very good. Come on, be creative. Let's see the answer here. Oh, you should see a doctor. You should take something. I don't, I don't. You should take something for fever. Okay. Sorry, teacher, se me, se me fue, se me fue. Okay, okay, okay. You should have a soup. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's stop. Stop with that. Next, what should I eat if I visit Japan? Oh, be creative, use your imagination, okay? You should eat ramen soup. Ah. You should eat sushi and drink sake. Ah. Good, Mar Marcela knows. You should eat. No, Japanese don't eat dog. <laughs> Okay, you should eat sushi. I don't like sushi. You should eat normal food, but what is normal food? What do you mean? Hamburgers? Chicken? <laughs> you should eat ramen soup? Ah. Okay. Well, let's see what they say. You should mind eating. Mm -hmm. No, that combination is not appropriate, Rene. Remember, we use the, ve the, uh, the base form of the verb after should. You should eat sushi. That's it. May Noah. No, no. Okay. After should, the base form of the verb. Okay. That's it. I should like to eat sushi. Mm. And I don't think we, we it's, it's okay to use I should like. I should eat sushi, that's it. Okay, let's see okay. if they recommend. Okay. Ah, you're right, you should eat sushi. That's the most common recommendation. Shirako, what is Shirako? What is Shirako, Miguel? What is Shirako? Yeah, what is Shirako? No sé, teacher, ahí dice que es una de las comidas más ricas de Japón. Okay, okay. No se vale buscar en internet. <laughs> pescado crudo, pescado crudo de, de, las, de los charpas. Como nunca he ido a Japón, tengo que buscar en Google, viejo. <laughs> Okay. I never say like to bend the sushi. Next. What? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What should you do if you don't understand the teacher? Oh my God. What should you do if you don't understand the teacher? <laughs> Okay, write your answers, please.
Okay, I will give you time to, to write your answers and then I, I'm going to start asking you, ask, asking you to read your answer. Okay, okay, let's see, Rafael, read your sentence, please. You should more atten attention. You repeat. <laughs> you, you should press more attention. Press. Um, when we talk about attention, the, the, the combination is pay, pay. Como pagar, yeah, pay, pay attention. Yeah, we don't say put attention. No, 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 no. Pay attention. Okay. If I ask the student, hey, Juanito, pay attention, please. Okay, pay attention. Okay, uh, Marcela, read your sentence. I should what? ask a question. You should, I should ask a question, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, Jocelyn, read your answer. What should you do if you don't understand the teacher? You should uh, say to the teacher that is playing you again. Okay. Good. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Byron, read your sentence. What should you do if you don't understand the teacher? Uh, let me see. Uh, you should don't use your cell phone in the class. Okay, okay. Byron, what is the negative form of should? Should don't. Should don't. You don't should don't should. No. You can do it, Byron. Look in the material. What is the negative form of should? Um, no teacher, I, I don't remember. Should not. Should, you should not. Ah, yes, yes, teacher. Ah, you should not. Ah, uh -huh. yes, yes, ah, yes, 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 teacher, I understand. Okay, once again, respond. What should you do if you don't understand the teacher? You should not use your cell phone in the class. Ah, good advice. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's see what they say. You should ask a question. Ah, okay. Ah, look at this. What should I do if I want to be rich? What should I do if I want to be rich? Write your sentence. Okay. Ah. Really, Johnny? <laughs> yes, teacher. Wow, you're going to explain that. You are around, around the world. Okay. No, no, plica. Very simple. Very quick stress. You're a lot of 
No, but look at the question. Pay y attention to pregunta the question. Que, que, que harías para ser no, rico. No, no, Spanish, ah. no. Forget Spanish. Ah, okay. <laughs> the question is not what would you do if you are rich? Sell draw. Okay. Teacher, I should born again. <laughs> Teacher, I, I sell draw. <laughs> many, many draw. Hey, be careful. I show, we have, we uh, have a exception here. <laughs> a trafficant. <laughs> it's a simple que... teacher. It's <laughs> okay in YouTube. <laughs> Open Opera account, the only fans we say. Lo van a ir a buscar a su casa. La otra Lo semana no vamos mañana. a ver al compañero. <laughs> Sí, y, es y, el, y el compañero Edgar, no, ahí salió la noticia. Va a salir así de entre rejas, mi. Mi, mi, mi. Mi no le ha hecho compañero con la palabra mi. Ok, let's see. Let me ask to Alex, what should I do? You should say my one. Be rich? Qué bárbaro, Biden. ¿no? You should work I mean, hard and save money. Yes, that's true. That's true. Okay. Let's see. Y tacaño, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Tacaño. Uh -huh. You can say uh, stingy. Stingy. Entonces, I selfish. should be stingy or selfish. Selfish. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. Miguel, what should I do if I want to be rich? Oh. You should install a bank teacher. <laughs> okay. El banco no da plazo, así que tendría que ser en cooperativa. <laughs> so, so the, when, when we talk about the bank, it's better the verb Rob, Rob, you should rob a bank. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me see another one here. Uh, uh, okay. Sandra, what should I do if I want to be rich? Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> no podía ceder el micrófono ahorita. You. Uh, permite. You should sure don't spend unnecessary things. Okay. Yes. Goodbye, cell phone. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Recargas. <laughs> oh, look at Rene. Rene is very philosophical now. Re, re, yes. Read your. Yeah, rich okay. is not the one who has more, but the one who needs less. Okay, Rene. Mucho mago de vos, Oscar. Now it's Rene Confucio Molina. Yeah. <laughs> Se los traduzco, quizás porque no entendieron. Me suena, oh. me suena el mago de vos. Oh. ¿Quieren que se lo traduzcan? No, no. De, go ahead, no, go ahead, no, 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 Mi, no. mi. No. Mi, mi, no, sí, no, dale, no. pues. Hoy le tocó a Oscar. Rich is okay, not. good. Yeah. Let's see what they say. You should work hard and save money. Dice hey, que hey, nadie hey, rico. Hey. No, no dice eso. Okay, no, no, no. La respuesta, hey. okay. Ah, this is too easy. Uh, uh, you shouldn't talk yet. Okay. Uh, you don't go to school. Okay, let's see this one. What should you do if you have to get up early? What should you do if you have to get up early? 
Tell me, speak, speak. I show Babe uh, Allen. I show Babe at Allen. Okay. The verb uh, is put set. Alarm. Set. Set. Ah. Uh -huh. Sería configurar o programar. Yes. Yes. Set. Eh, así sería. Yeah. Okay. Así, yes. The alarm clock. Hey, no le pase, no le pase la página, teacher. Ahí la está copiando, René. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else? Tell. Speak. Speak. Speak, please. I should set the alarm clock. The alarm clock, yes. More. What else? You should go to bed early. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You should go to bed early. Okay, people. Very good. So I'll give you the link so you can practice later whenever you want. Let me share the link with you. Hey, con ese ejemplo vamos a aprender bastante, teacher. Ese sí está bien. Hey, yes. But, mm -hmm. hey, use it, use it. Practice, practice, practice. Give me a second. WhatsApp is a little bit slow. There you are. Okay, now uh, we're going to continue with lesson three. Lesson three, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Um, Okay. In lesson three, we are going to study, we are going to learn how to write a short and professional email to coworkers. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to write short and professional emails to coworkers in English. Okay. We have three questions here. Question one says, do you send emails every day? Question two, should emails be brief or long? Question three, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? I repeat the questions. Number one, do you send emails every day? Number two, should emails be brief or long? And number three, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? I will send you to working groups, okay, to respond those questions. Discuss, please, and respond those questions. Okay. 
Okay, go to your groups, please, and discuss and respond to those questions. See you in 10 minutes.
Okay, welcome back. Let's see your answers. Okay, do you send emails every day? Yes or no, people? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. No. No, okay. Yes. Oh, I know. Yes. De vez en cuando. How do you say de vez en cuando, de vez en cuando in English, Edgar? Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Okay. Almost always. No. Almost always is more frequent. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's more frequent. Okay. Thank you. Another form to say de vez en cuando is once in a while. Once in a while. Once yeah. in but, a while. Once in a while. From time to time. From time to time, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. De vez en cuando. Once in a while. <laughs> really? <laughs> De vez en cuando. From time to time. <laughs> Another more, more uh, informal is once in a blue moon. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is informal. <laughs> Once in a blue moon. <laughs> okay. Now, should emails be brief or long? Brief. Brief. Normally brief, teacher. Brief. brief. Yeah. Short. Preferable. Preferable brief. Okay. Now, I want you to write one tip in the chat, one tip. I know that, but write at least one tip to write effective emails. Write in the chat, please. When I don't die. Short and clear message, says Andrea. Underline the purpose of the email oh, yeah. and the important in bold. Be brief, clear and precise, short message. Message has, has to be short, an objective. B, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Specific email and subject. Uh -huh. Start with a greeting. Very good, Alex. Me quedé leyendo la, la palabra que había puesto Sandra. Y luego dije. It's a, okay. Algo anda what? mal aquí. <laughs> subjective. What do you mean subjective, Byron? Uh, como que, um, is subjective or objective? No, subjective. Is object, okay. subject teacher que es como asunto? Okay. So you want the... Como para uh, re, no redundar mucho la información y ser... Objetivo eh, sería... Oh, quizás Object, es, entonces. Objective, sí, es cierto. Okay. Es you could say be oh. direct. Be precise. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Be clear. Be clear. Yeah. Perfect. Use a formal. Formal right. What? Eh, Tienen que ser formales. Ah. Yeah, sometimes it's better. Okay, now let's see. Exercise two says check which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? 
mark with a check which tips for writing for my emails you follow. We have different tips, so let me read them. One says, do not use all capitals. Avoid using the subject important. Use a formal salutation. Be brief. Express clearly why you are writing. Do not use abbreviations. Do not use smileys. Smileys are emojis or emoticons. Emoticons, yeah. Okay. Let me see. Uh, it is time for the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance in a moment. Let me see. Oh. No, no, I'm here. Give me a second. Let me create a poll here for. Three. Four. Okay, I'm going to launch a poll with this, with this. Vamos a hacerlo con la 
Pues. Ah, oh, no le puse título. Ok, no importa. Ok. Uh, la encuesta dice. No le puse título, dice votación sin título. Pero el punto es: check the three more important for you. So you're going to check only three of these tips, the same tips. Only mark three, the most important or the more important tips for you. Okay? Okay, go ahead. Check three only. The most important. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. There are sixteen of you. Come on, check three. Okay. Okay. Oh, there are 17 actually. Okay. Ten seconds to finish the poll. Okay, one more, one more is missing, who's missing? Okay, I'm going to end the poll. Hey, antes de compartir los resultados, I'm going to take the second attendance, okay? Alex Gerardo Peña. Present. Good. Ana Celia Mena. Present. Thank you. Ana María Marcela Siu. Present. Thank you. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Thank you. Byron José Villanueva. Present, teacher. Thank you, Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Thank you, Edgar Eduardo García. Present. Thank you, Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present, teacher. Okay, Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present, teacher. Okay, Iván Alberto Castillo. Present, teacher. Okay, Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Perfect. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Okay. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Good. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Great. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Okay. And Sandra Yanira Gómez. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look to the result of the poll. Ah, you see, what is the, according to this poll, what is the most important tip? Use a formal salutation. Ah, according to you, that is the most important. Use a formal salutation, that is number one. What is number two, according to you? Don't, Don't use. not use capitals. All cap yes. Yes. So you know what uh, capital letters mean in 
in a message. It's stream is loud. Yes, loud. that you are screaming, that you are yelling. Huh? Yes. Hey, okay. why sometimes when I write "Good evening, people," <laughs> I'm I'm screaming, but enthusiastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, and according to this poll, what is tip number three? Express clearly when you are writing. English. Uh, 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 <clears throat> sorry? Yes. Como se dice empate en inglés? Ah, there is a tie. Tie, como corbata, tie. Mm -hmm. There is a tie between... There is a tie. Uh huh. Between express clearly and be brief. Mm -hmm. They are even. Se dice también. They are even. Están empatados. Están even. Igual. Okay. Very good. Yeah. But definitely use a form of salutation. Do not use capital letters. All capitals. I mean, uh, be brief and express clearly why you are writing. Perfect. Okay. Now, what else do we have here? There is a conversation here. It's a very short conversation. Let's practice it. Let me read it first. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. One more time. Let me record the conversation for you here in WhatsApp. Do, do here. Abbreviations. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. And then you can give more examples or you can give more tips. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me. Do you often send emails? Do you often send emails? Do you often send emails? emails? Do you often yes, send emails? I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? It is appropriate, it is appropriate to use abbreviations in business, in business emails. emails. No, it is not professional. No, it is no, not, it's professional. not professional. professional. I see. Could you share some? Uh, I'm sorry. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? I see. I see. Could you share more, share more, 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 more to write effective emails? Effective emails. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Now, I am Amanda, and you are Luis. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes I, I do. do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, no, it is no. Not no. Professional. It is professional. professional. I see. Will you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. 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 sure, sure. Okay, now you are Amanda. You begin. One, two, three. Do you do often you send, send emails? Send emails? emails? Yes, I do. Is it is a profile to use abbreviations in business emails? 
No, it is not professional. I, I see. see. I see. Did you share, you share, share, you share right, 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 effective email? Effective emails. Yeah, sure. Okay. Now I'll send you to working groups and I want you to practice this conversation, but also I want you to continue the conversation with more tips, okay? okay? You have to continue the conversation giving more tips to Luis, all right? So yes, and you two working pairs. Um, okay. Oh. Permite, estoy tratando de que algunos que están de oyentes, a veces no, por algo no entran a los grupos. Ok. Ok. Ok, some groups may, may be with three students. Okay. Algunos grupos tal vez tengan tres. Si los tres entran, ahí arman una conversación entre tres. Ok. Create the conversation. Prepare the conversation. Practice the conversation. Because you are going to present. Ok. I am Mario. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Go to your groups, please. Practice the conversation. Create, get, write more tips and see you in 10 minutes.
Ah, ok. Va, y entonces, Mario, vas a hacer copia. Simón. You finish, guys? No, teacher, todavía no. Todavía no, teacher. Ok, ok. Are you ready, people? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. No. We need more time. Okay. Are you ready, people? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Okay, Blanca. Oh, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. I'm Amanda. Okay, but what are the tips? What, what are the tips that you, because Amanda asked, could you share more tips to write effective emails? ¿Qué, ¿Qué más le han agregado? Uh, pues... Amanda, Amanda está pidiendo que le dé más tips. Yes. Le dio por allá los, los del... Eh, de ser breve, be brief. Uh, express clearly. Mm -hmm. And don't use abbreviations. Ok, ok. Ok, we're good. See you. Uh, I... Ok, ok. Esta 25, 30, esta 40. Mm, no, pero si no, no. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Ahí está. Bien. Ok, see you soon. Ok. Y adiós, me dice. Are you ready? Uh, yes. yes. Yes, okay, perfect. <laughs> See you. Okay. Let's see, see. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Ready, course, teacher. teacher. Okay. Ready for all. Perfect. See you in a moment. Okay, okay teacher. Suerte, Johnny. Teacher, teacher. Hello, hello. Teacher, a Miguel se le fue la conexión, o no sé, pero se desconectó y él tenía todos los apuntes, no me compartió nada. Ah, vamos a ver si regresa. Escribirle por WhatsApp, tal vez ahí ve. Sí, ya le escribí y me dice que se le apagó la computadora, que no sé, no sabe si se va a volver a conectar. A ver, si se conecta, chivo, si no, no hay problema. Vaya, Tich.
Okay, welcome back. Now, let's see. Let's hear your conversations, okay? Any volunteer to start? Johnny and uh, me. <laughs> me. Me. <laughs> that one you need. Okay. Okay. Lights, <laughs> camera, action. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips the to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. For example, don't use all capitals. Oh, okay, thank you. It is very important to send professional emails. You're welcome. Perfect. That's all, teacher. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Hey, well, yeah. Hey, very good. Very good, me, me, me. Flaws for you. Okay. Any other volunteer? One. Pilas partners. <laughs> ah, Marcela. Marcela. Oscar and Ivan. Okay, yes. ready? Lights, camera, action. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Extend your offer. Él es Mario, dice. Sorry, sorry. No le esconden el micrófono. Me lo esconde, me lo esconde la Vicky. Espérenme un segundito. Vamos a ver. Empecemos desde cero, pues, para agarrar calor. Vale. Dele. Do you often, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, can you tell me please? Clear and precise short message. Create a switch table subject. Always say uh, goodbye in a friendly way. Okay, thank you so much for helping me. Hey, very good. Applause very for you. Good. Excellent. Excellent, Mario René. <laughs> very okay. good. Who's thank next? You. Perfect. <laughs> next, okay, Andrea. Andrea and Fernando. Fernando. Ready? Lights, camera, action. Do you often send emails? Avisa que me, me, me falló la conexión ahorita. <laughs> Repeat, please. Do okay, you open send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. What do you think is the most important? Use a formal salutation and be brief. Oh, interesting. Thank you for the information. Okay, bye. Okay, very good. Excellent. Applause to you. Perfect. Okay, next. Come on, come on. One. Yo veo a Sandra como que quiere participar ya. Okay, 
Cuando vemos la periquera ahí, dice. Hey, it's true, Sandra. It is true. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Okay, Sandra and Jocelyn and Alex. Lights, okay. camera, action. Do you ask them self email? Compañeros, no me dejen sola. Yes, I do. <laughs> Is it appropriate to use an abbreviation in business in May? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? I can at the moment, but Maria might be able to help you. In my experience, you don't have to use abbreviation in smiles because that makes you look casual. We can use use a abbreviation. You don't have to use abbreviation because not all the people understand the meaning of abbreviations. Oh, thank you very much for helping. You're welcome. Yay! Excellent. Very good. Wow, to you. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Hasta aquí hoy ese silbido, Oscar. <laughs> oh, sí, está en mute. <laughs> Next. Next. Yo creo que Blanca quiere pasar. Yes, yes. Okay. I think Blanca. so. Okay, Blanca and Byron. Right, camera, action. Okay. Uh, emails. Espera, me dice que me perdió la página. Espera, 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 espera. Se me perdió Facebook a la hora de clase. Aquí estoy. No, no estoy en Facebook. Lo que pasa es que lo tengo en la otra página de atrás. Ah, ahí está. Ahí te vemos en el reflejo de los lentes. Ahí en los lentes se ve <risa> ah, Mentira. Vaya. Ahí este, está Facebook. Ahí está. No, pero ya hace send... recesión. Ahí está. Ok. Do you so, often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. I would appreciate, appreciate it very much. Let me show you more information about this. Decimos los tres features, los tres tips. Yes. Okay. Um, Number one, be free, be brief. Number two, do not use abbreviation and do not use smiles. Thanks. Okay, very good, excellent. Well, finally, Rafael, but Rafael's partner had problems with the computer, or I don't know, the power, or Something happened. I no don't problem. have partner teacher. Yes, okay. So on Monday, on Monday, don't worry. Okay, well, let's take a quick look to the information we have in the book. Okay. Steps to write a formal email. Steps to write a formal email. Here we have some important things you must take into account or tips to write a formal email. Okay. Let me read them for you first. 
number one, um, the pointer. Okay, number one, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Two, include a polite salutation. Example, dear mister or dear miss, good morning, etc. Three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Four, don't use all capital or all lowercase letters. Just let me tell you that lowercase is the opposite of capital. Yeah, lowercase is the opposite of capital. Okay, five, avoid abbreviations. Example, PLZ or please. Six, be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Seven, be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Eight, use a closing phrase like, best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Nine, add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. 10. Edit and proofread before you send the message. Okay, any question with this? It's clear. Clear, yeah. Horchata. Clear like coffee. Okay, well, let's see if you remember this. Tana. Steps to write a formal email. Let's see. Let's go one by one. We have to complete with these words. Okay. So, what is number one? Fill in the Line Subject. topic relevant. Ah, fill in, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient. Brief. Okay, good. Let me see if I can from the This is okay. Number two, include a polite Great. salutation. Salutation, teacher. Salutation. Include a polite salutation. Example, dear mister, dear miss, good morning. Number three, write your, in the opening main, point. main point. Main point, the opening sentence. Main point in the opening sentence. Okay. Four, 
Don't use all capital or lowercase. Letters. Letters. Letter. Yes. Five. Avoid. Abbreviation. Abbreviations. Six. B. Remember right. to write. Right. Thank you. Oh, be polite. Remember to write, please. And thank you. Oops. <laughs> this yellow squirt. Maybe, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seven. Be brief. If your message brief. is long, okay. Be brief. Brief. I won't consider using. Oh. Okay. Hey, use a closing. Closing phrase. Closing phrase. Phrase. Nine. Add a signature block. Signature. Signature block. Signature block. Signature. Yes. Okay. And finally. Proofread. 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 Read it and proofread. Proofread. Or you send the message. Perfect. Now you are experts. Now <laughs> writing emails. So, because you're expert, You'll have a homework. <laughs> oh, Not I think uh, extra points. <laughs> yes, extra points. No homework. <laughs> Con eso llega el 50% de, 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 la, de la asistencia. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ya estamos en el 90 casi, 52. <laughs> okay, simple. I will um, quickly, I will send you in pairs just to take the email address of your classmate. Okay? So you're going to work in, in the same groups, the same groups. And you have to get the email address of your classmate. And then you are going to send an email, a business email. To your classmate. Okay. Uh, using these tips, right? So, and you are going to send the email with a copy to me. That's it. Okay. So, right now, you, okay. This is not a <laughs> Spanish class. This is not a Spanish <laughs> class. <laughs> okay, so I'm going Please. to send you to your group. Sure. The only thing that you are going to do is to ask, hey, uh, Marcela, what is your email address? What, what is your email address, Marcela? Marcela.sue.83. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't remember. How do you say arroba? At. 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 Uh -huh. okay. okay, I take note of Marcela's email and then during the weekend or yeah, my, on your free time, you have a lot of free time, <laughs> uh, you write and you send a business email. I'm going to send a business email to Marcela with a copy to the teacher. Yeah, con copia the teacher. I, this is the email for, for me. Let me write it to you. I'm going to write it here in the chat. Lo buscaré en WhatsApp. That MX. I have a Mexican email from Yahoo. I don't know.
Okay. Porque su email tiene MX. From exit. I don't know. Mm, international. Mm. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I will send you to the groups, collect the email addresses, and that's it. Talk to your groups. It is similar to my, my email, my first email. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Rene Molina, 2000, yeah. Arroba, .com. <laughs> Okay, see you in three minutes. What happened, Johnny? Teacher, se me apagó el teléfono. Y hasta ahorita lo acabo de encender, así que no creo participar. ¿Quién estabas? Eh, se me apagó justamente a, a crear los grupos, iba usted. Ah, ok. Y ahorita lo puse a cargar. Vale, te mando con uno solo para que... Solo para hacer bulto. No, de que tomé nota. <laughs> Ahorita.
Okay, people, welcome back. I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening, okay? Alex Gerardo Peña. Present. Okay, Anacelia Mena. Present. Okay, Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Byron Jose Villanueva. Present teacher. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Edgar Eduardo García. Present teacher. Fernando Present. Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present teacher. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present teacher. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Present. Miguel Ángel Romero. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Good evening. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. And Sandra Yanira Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, people, that's all for today. See you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. And see you on Monday, okay? Bye bye. Happy weekend, everybody. Bye. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. Good night, everyone. See you on Monday. Good night. Night. Enjoy in Guatemala, teacher. Thank you. I'm going to night. Sunday, going Guatemala. To eat some champurradas. Si, <laughs> pues. <laughs> Veo pues, un gusto. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye. Ok, el estudiante que tenía la sesión personal ahora, por alguna razón se desconectó, parece que tuvo problemas de energía. Just kidding. Bye.